a blessed Christmas to all of you wherever you are. This is Sister Daisy for today's reflection from the Gospel Power. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary brought the child up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord, Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man of Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Brothers and sisters, the episode of the presentation of Jesus at the temple beautifully captures the point of encounter between the old era of the law and the new era of the Holy Spirit. Mary and Joseph, who carry with them the fulfillment of Old Testament promises, are shown to be faithful and submissive to the law. And Simeon, who represents the old era, is said to be moved by the Holy Spirit. The law and the Spirit come from the same God who made promises in the past and now fulfills them. The song of Simeon about going in peace after having seen the salvation prepared by God is not about himself, but about the old era that can now draw to a close and give way to the new era. Simeon warns, however, that not all in Israel will be open and receptive. Mary will have to continually discern and renew her initial yes as she accompanies this child to full maturity. Let us pray together, Lord Jesus, help us to see and appreciate the continuity between the Old and the New Testaments of Christian Scripture. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. 
bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us.